Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this video I will show you how to format a USB drive with the FAT32 file system on a Windows PC and Mac computer regardless of the size of your USB drive. We see a lot of people struggling with connecting their USB drives to their Fire TV sticks or other Android powered systems and the main reason for this is because they haven't formatted their devices as FAT32. Now it's important to note that when you format a USB drive, you are erasing everything off of it. So if you have something important on that drive, make sure that you back up your contents before you do this. I'm going to start by inserting a SanDisk 3.0 32 gigabyte USB drive into my Windows 10 PC. And you will see when I do this, it automatically opens my Windows File Explorer. Now, if for some reason this does not automatically open, you can always come down. If you have a folder on your taskbar, you can click File Explorer from here, or you can simply search for it in the search bar and launch it this way. And you should see your drive on the left-hand side. I'm going to click my drive, which is the SanDisk 32. Now, if your drive is 32 gigabytes in size or less, you can easily format your drive through Windows Explorer. And all you have to do is right click your drive, left click format. Now when the format tool opens, you will notice what the current file system is. And for this drive, it is XFAT. So all I have to do is click the drop down arrow and choose FAT32. Now, if I would like, I can change the name of this volume right here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it as is. And I usually keep quick format checked because this will format it much quicker than if it is unchecked. Click the start button. I'm getting a warning that everything will be erased off this drive. Now I'm gonna click okay. and the format has been completed. So now this disk is in the FAT32 file system. Click OK, and now I'm gonna click Close. Bottom right hand corner, I'm gonna click the up arrow, click the icon that looks like a USB drive, and now I'm going to click Eject Cruiser Glide. Now I can safely remove the USB drive. Okay, now I'm going to insert a SanDisk 3.0 USB drive that's 256 gigabytes in size. Now sometimes you may see that there is a problem in the bottom right hand corner. Just let it sit there for a few seconds. And then more than likely File Explorer will still open up and if it doesn't, do what I showed you earlier and search for File Explorer in the search box here. So again, I'm going to right click the SanDisk 256 drive, left click Format, click the File System menu option, and now you're gonna notice that FAT32 is no longer available in this list. And this is because Windows won't format drives larger than 32 gigabytes at least not through this simple formatting tool. So what I'm going to do is download and install a free drive utility called Rufus. And I will leave the link for this website in the video description below. You're gonna to come to this site here, click the latest Rufus release as of this date, it is 3.12. And I'm going to save this to my downloads folder. It has finished downloading. I'm going to left click the option down in the bottom left corner. If you get a message asking, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I'm going to click yes for that as well. And now you will see the tool opens. So what I wanna do now is choose the USB drive if it's not already in this box and it is. Boot selection, I'm going to change this to non-bootable. This is not a bootable USB drive that we're setting up. 
I'm going to leave everything else the same up here on the top. Again, I can change my volume label if I would like, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it as SanDisk 256. File System. I'm going to click the drop down menu item here, and I'm going to choose Large FAT32. I'm going to click Show Advanced Format Options. And I usually uncheck Create Extended Label and Icon Files. There's no need for that. And now I'm going to click the Start button. And again, I'm getting a warning that everything on this USB drive will be destroyed. And again, this is a reminder, make sure that you back up the contents on your USB drive if you need those for later use. I'm going to click OK. So now this USB drive has also been formatted as FAT32 through the Rufus Disk Utility. So again, I'm going to exit out of these windows, move down, and safely eject the USB drive. All right, now I'm going to move over to my Mac computer. You can format any size of USB drive as FAT32 with the built-in disk utility on a Mac computer. The first thing I'm going to do is open Finder, click Applications, open the Utilities category, open Disk Utility, highlight the USB drive, click Erase, now here again, you can create a name for the USB drive if you would like. Change the format to MS-DOS, which is actually FAT32. Then click the Erase button. Click the Done button, and you will see that the drive is now listed as FAT32. Now that you've formatted your drive as FAT32, you should now be able to use it on Android-powered devices as well as most other systems. FAT32 is an old file system and it is recognizable by most streaming devices, phones, tablets, and computers. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I drop new tutorials like this in the future. Thanks for following TroyPoint and have a great day.